Europe's financial rescue vehicle, the European Stability Mechanism, is swinging into action this autumn. It's raising debt in international capital markets to fund programmes for struggling economies in the Eurozone. With me to discuss where we stand in the Euro crisis is Klaus Regling, the ESM's Managing Director. Mr Regling, welcome. Uh, we're in a turbulent patch in bond markets with talk about the Fed tapering, interest rates possibly rising. You have to raise, you're aiming to raise uh, 9 billion euros uh, in the coming months. Is this a matter of borrow now whilst uh, interest rates are still low? No, of course, it's an important issue. Uh, we are affected by, by what's happening in the global markets. Um, there's uncertainty. But like in the EFSF, um, which has been successful, a successful issue over the last few years, we expect that also the ESM will be able to, um, to rely on a broad investor base. Um, nobody can predict exactly at what interest rate we will issue. We saw that it's, they went up, but then they have come down again. So I cannot make any forecast of, of what will exactly happen here. In the past, you mentioned the ESFF, which is your predecessor vehicle. A um, lot of interest from the US in particular. Do you see that going uh, forward? And um, might you even issue in dollars? We are um, allowed to issue in other currencies, the EFSF and the ESM. We have so far not used that possibility because um, we could raise all the funds we need in Euro and obviously it makes our life a lot easier um, to raise the money in the currency in which we lend. Uh, what about the demand from Asia? Um, emerging market economies have been hit by their own patch of turbulence recently. Is that in danger that maybe you won't get the demand you see, you've seen in the past from Asia? The share that Asia took in EFSF bonds was on average 21%, which I think is a good number and um, I don't think that that will change. We had strong support from some of the um, Asian countries like Japan, Singapore that are not directly affected by this. They do have um, foreign exchange reserves that need to be invested, many of these countries, so I expect that Asia will be there also when the ESM issues for the first time. Okay, let's talk about where we are in the Eurozone crisis. Uh, one uh, very pertinent question now is what's going to happen to Ireland and whether it's going to be able to exit, become the first country to exit a programme in December. Yeah. Do you think it's on, on, on schedule to do so? Yeah, well, absolutely, because the programme will come to an end. But in a broader sense, one should first say that we have come a long way. Um, and this relies on at least four um, factors and it's much more than what I often read that only monetary policy ECB action is responsible for that. ECB's OMT played a very important role last year to switch the perception of market participants. It's important to have it in the background. OMT can be activated if needed. But what is equally important is that we see really good adjustment in the countries that borrow from us. Okay. Conditionality is working. We see strong improvement in the fundamentals of Greece, Portugal, Spain, Ireland and now also Cyprus. What about helping Ireland with a credit loan? So all these countries of course come to an end eventually. Ireland is the first one because Ireland was the first one that borrowed from the EFSF starting in, in February 2011. They this program expires at the end of the year. So there will be discussions what happens, but they have proven that they already have market access. They issued even a 10-year government bond. So Ireland is very much advanced. What about the role of the ESM in the next year or so? Um, there's, for instance, the question about whether you might use your financial firepower to back up a single bank resolution authority. Would that be a good idea? At the moment, we the ESM only focuses on two programs, the Spanish Recapital bank restructuring program and the Cypriot program. That takes about 10% of our firepower. So 90% is uncommitted, 450 billion euro. Um, we are thinking about the direct bank recapitalization instrument, where yeah. the Eurogroup has reached an agreement to pursue this once the single supervisor in the Euro area is up and running. The ECB will do that job. So that's the first thing. Then there have been some suggestions um, to make the ESM also the financial backstop of a single resolution mechanism. Yeah. But this has not been discussed yet in any official body. Our current ESM treaty does not foresee that instrument. OK, and let's look five years from now. Do you think we'll still need a, an active ESM or will you be in wind down mode and looking for someone nice to retire? Um, eventually I will also retire. Um, the crisis will be over before then. But of course, EFSF and ESM, both institutions, will be in the market for a long time. 
because the lending program to Greece runs for 30 years, so that okay. must be continuously rolled over. We have to stop that. Mr. Wegling, thank you very much. You're welcome.